all right you guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between the type s and the a spec version of the 2022 acura mdx so we'll start off with this one here this one is trimmed in apex blue and this is also the a spec model which is designated quite clearly by the uh a spec badges but another quick giveaway um, is going to be the 20 inch dark graphite finished wheels that comes standard on all of the a spec models and then of course you'll get all the blackout trim whereas in all the other trims from base to tech to advanced you'll get the chrome surrounds around the window treatment as well as down the side of the panel there and this black strip that goes across the back and side of the bumper that would all be chrome otherwise um if you didn't get the a spec or type s um, you can do a package where you can black those things out no matter which trim you get, but it is optional. So as far as looks are concerned, they look very similar at first. Um, but immediately you can tell, first of all, you got the Brembo brakes, which are painted red, the calipers are. And then they're sitting behind these nice aggressive 21 inch wheels, which are also finished in the same sort of color. Um, and then some more differences. Once you get around to the front, uh, the MDX actually doesn't have functional vents on the side. These are just for aesthetics. Um, over on the Type S, you actually do get functional vents. So you can see those actually go through. And then on the grill, of course, signature Type S, uh, you get the cutouts for the diamond pentagons. Where here, they are solid. Um, another thing, the bumper down at the bottom, you get these sorts of LED fog lights here with the three individual jewel eyes. Um, here, they're a lot thinner and it looks like you get four individual jewel eyes on this one versus the three on that one, okay? You also get a slightly different lip on the front bumper here as you see, um, and then down at the bottom, way more aggressive as well versus the horizontal slats that just kind of go across there. Uh, so those are some of the key differences on the outside and then also right here this trim piece is going to be black as well versus here is body colored so all of this is going to be body colored down here on any of the a spec models and of course you get your type s badge which is also looks really nice now once you start to look on the inside that's where the differences sort of stop so here this is basically the same interior that you would get in the normal a spec being that this is the tech model or tech version of the type s um so seating configuration materials all those things pretty much carry through from the a spec model and you'll be able to tell pretty much immediately so like look see this door panel speakers are going to be the same sound system is the same seats are the same so again very similar um, and of course here it says a spec on the other one is obviously going to say type s but interiors and things like that are pretty much the same uh, another main difference is the airlift suspension on this vehicle so right now it is in sport plus mode so it is in its lowest setting so you can see there's less clearance between the wheel arches on that model versus this one here so little bit of difference in ride height and it also gets a lift mode um, so that you can raise the vehicle up if you're ever in a situation where you need some more ground clearance and then the other day giveaway is going to be of course your quad exhaust which as someone pointed out um, a few people have actually pointed out uh, doesn't sound as good as on the uh, TLX type S but definitely is nice that you get the quad exhaust here you get the more sort of rectangular outlets here uh, just with two pipes on the inside versus the butterfly valve and the four pipe set up here or two into four rather um, as far as cargo is concerned or as far as the rear area is concerned all of that is still the same nothing changes there um, so as far as how much stuff you can fit in the car and how many people that's all gonna be the same. Show you that real quick too. 
power lift gate standard on all of them. So that's with the third row up here. Same thing with the third row up. Now let me show you really quickly the main reason why you pay the extra money on that Monroney sticker. So this is the main reason right here. And I'll show you the differences when I open the other one. But right there is a turbo, which the other car doesn't have. Now the engine itself is technically smaller. This is a three liter displacement V6 with the turbo produces the uh, 355 horsepower that we know and love in the uh, TLX Type S 354 torque. So, and again, like I said in the comments of the, one of the last videos, the uh, power output is the same and the vehicle is obviously heavier than the sedan in which it shares the uh, powertrain. However, for some reason, and I think it has a lot to do with weight transfer, um, and just a softer setup. This vehicle does seem to be a lot more dramatic on takeoff. Um, it, it does a, a sort of squat, if you will, um, which does just add to the drama of the driving experience. But this is the tried and true three and a half liter bulletproof V6 that we all know and love. If you don't know about it, find out about it. And if you hate it, that's because you choose to, because this is a awesome motor. Um, and they put it in many, many different applications throughout the Honda uh, lineup, as well as Acura. Um, mainly in the MDX though, because otherwise the TLX did used to get the three and a half liter V6, but now it's two liter or three liter turbo. Those are your only choices. So that's why you pay the extra money is for the three liter turbo in this car versus the three five naturally aspirated motor there, which by the way, does make 290 horsepower. So it's not a slouch at all. Um, and it sounds great, but if you want the extra power, this is definitely the one to get. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will be doing some more and uh, catch you in the next one.